too much talking hurts your personal brand in many ways, and it gives the sense that you're not tuned. In today's video, we decided to give you 6 tips to overcome the tendency to speak too much, and control over talking, so stay tuned. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, so you do not miss any of our new videos. Also, feel free to follow us on social media, links in the description box down below. Number 1. Learn to control your impulse. It's simple, because all it really takes is for you to identify an impulse before you act upon it, and then choose not to act. It's not easy, because these things happen very quickly, often in a fraction of a second. To control your impulse, you have to practice taking a conscious pause every time you're about to speak. Number 2. Practice not interrupting people. This is tied directly into impulse control, but relates specifically to those moments when someone else is speaking, and you talk over them. In these situations, wait for a moment of silence to occur before you speak, use it as a sign that the other person has finished talking. Number 3, Shift Gratification to Listening But while talking and dominating a conversation is a selfish form of pleasure, listening can provide a shared pleasure. It provides a greater reward, as you feel a genuine warmth that comes from helping another person, and sharing a moment with them. Number 4. Accept differences of opinion. You don't have to disregard the opposing views, and nor do you have to devalue them, or to convert people to your way of thinking. Most things worth debating are subjective in nature, and so you ought to try to see how a person might reach a different conclusion to you. Number 5. Avoid commandeering the conversation. People like to talk about themselves, it's almost natural, but some take it too far and end up in the realms of conversational narcissism. If they are not interested with what someone is talking about, they change the topic to something they are more comfortable with. Sure, conversations do move ground, but this should be once both parties are satisfied that they've spoken enough about a topic. In other words, don't force a change, if it's clear that the other person wants to continue talking about the current topic. Number 6. Work on your self-esteem. Some people with low self-esteem do a lot of talking, so that others can agree with them, or listen to them at the very least. Working on your self-esteem may allow you to remain silent, in situations where you would normally seek attention and validation. 